Hey, look, it's the Emperor's new groove. It's the Emperor's new groove. Another one of those licensed Disney platforming games where you and Pacha go through the movie script, defeating enemies and solving puzzles and doing a lot of things like that. There's so much going on in this game, I don't even know where to start. But to be able to start, we gotta start. So with that being said, let's gather around our llamas, hit the farm, and feed them various items so they're not hungry. You start off in the beautiful grassy hills of the village. Pacha's village at that. All right! Which means you get to learn the lay of the land from his children. Look at this little fellow. I'm too little. And what I love so much about this game is the dialogue. It's always breaking the fourth wall. How do you get here so fast? Hey, it's a game. Game! Along with having to do the exact opposite of what the villagers ask of you. You get to feel like a real bad boy. Breaking down this sacred, fragile tree. Destroying ancient statues. Really standing up against the man. Anyways, our first red idol opportunity arises when you meet this kid on his llama bike. So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. And with obvious inspiration from the egg thief from Spyro, <laughs> you just gotta chase him around and cut him off in his path to retrieve the idol. He's a recurring challenge in all the levels, so we'll meet again. Speaking of meeting again, he quickly returns for an intense battle, and with the ability to spit seeds out of our mouths, a shootout ensues. Ow. 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 And just when you think it can't get any crazier, I'm turning into a turtle. And Kronk wants to take me on in the annual village race. Which is one of my favorite things to do in any game. I always love downhill racing without vehicles, like with your feet or a shell. Kind of like Rayman or Monsters, Inc. He was no match for me, by the way. I took him down. Here, you can have the trophy. <laughs> Finally, we get our chance to leave the village. You'll have to try to follow my dad. By doing the classic sneak missions many games love to throw at you. You just gotta hide behind these huts while Pacha turns around and says, Huh? Huh, 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 huh. Simple enough, we make it through to the final boss level, which is Yzma, who we just gotta dodge her potions to open this door, and we can leave. You got yourself an end of level boss, Yzma? Nope. Now we move on to Jungle Night. The stakes get higher, and it's dark, both literally and figuratively, considering this fly is stuck here marked for death. And we just mock him. You stupid! And with big webs means big spiders, and I don't like spiders. So I killed him. Ah! Directly from the movie, the squirrel makes a nice appearance, and he gives you balloons to help you with this lift transportation. And as I skip over a lot of other small details that don't really matter, you're transported to another event with the llama biker. One rock's not enough to break my new bike! He's got a stronger bike, so it's a little different this time. So I hit him with the two rock stack. There's a lot of other puzzle-like things to do here, but it would be too hard to mention in the time frame, so I'm just gonna kinda play them as I say this. And as we make our way to the exit, we plummet. But it's all part of the story, and the Jaguars aren't having it. This looks like a serious situation. So you gotta run. As a kid, this level always gave me trouble, because having to tap the hell out of the X button starts to hurt after a minute. And I learned this once again, after my hand hurt. Tapping the X button for a minute. Didn't I play this kind of game in the 80s? Nope. Now we're at the river, and you can say we're pretty waterlogged right now. While floating quickly down the river, we must avoid crocs, turtles, spiders, and even freshly cut logs. Ow! But at least the monkeys are here to toss us bananas for health. Mm, bananas? So much for the bananas, the monkeys are throwing coconuts at me now. Uh, look out, RPG! And just as things mellow out here at the river, the waterfall drops us into the croc hunt, an endless horde of vicious crocodiles that you gotta hold off for a bit. And with only a sliver of health left, I protected me and my buddy Pacha flawlessly. Great shot! Great shot! Perfect! Wanna race? Meanwhile, the bike kid returns on a llama raft to race me down the river. Although it seemed like my racing technique was beginning to fail, I ended up beating the child anyway. Oh, and you can't forget about the final boss fight. Yzma just throws blow-up animals in the water that you gotta spit on. I really don't understand her strategy here, but I'll go with it. She'll be back. I've seen it in the script. Jungle day. It's the jungle in the day. Just look at this beautiful river backdrop. I hope I edit myself floating away in the water, that'd be fun. This section features a bird's eye view maze filled with guards and timing and other puzzle scenarios. Fast forward a bit and I'm turned into a frog. And by using Super Leap technology, I was able to make my way through these tricky button puzzles. Pacha says he knows there's a red idol around, but he just can't see it. So we use the look button to look up at the big boy and, and spit in his mouth. And there's also these little goobers running around. The mountain. It's getting pretty icy up here. Pacha crosses the bridge as it breaks beneath his feet. Nice footwork, Chunky. I like him, Chunky. Luckily, we get to meet this bird guy on top of a hill. It's Condor Man. I am Condor Man. We must launch him into hitting this button. And if he misses the mark, which happened a few times, you get to watch him run all the way back up the hill every time without being able to skip it. It's awesome. A man has fallen. That boulder nearly squashed me. And what's a mountain without any danger? There's an epic boulder dodging segment that set me packing a few times. But with the right moves, the right style, you can overcome this challenge and be able to compete with Kronk in an ice skating green idol collection contest. You won.
Couscous poison. On to the city. My first job was to return this man's pet bunny by using a pot of carrots as a lure. Hey! You found him! And this man was actually referenced in the beginning of the game, and I'll never forget that. The bike kid's back, and he has a really cool outfit this time. Not cool enough to outrun me again, so we take him out once more. Ah! And now Big Daddy appears and wants the battle. Okay! Alright, we gotta get in the palace. That means sneaking through the royal gardens. I like gardens. A path that involves challenges like dangerous sky puzzles. Kinda reminds me of Battle for Bikini Bottom in the Dream World. Hope you played that, that's a great game. This wall is so weak that even a llama could charge through it. This guy looks like a Spyro enemy from the first world. Like the green guy. And of course, with sneaking around comes guards on high alert. <laughs> I built up my Cusco statue of gold, and we're in. But this naked guy's blocking the doorway. Those crazy peacocks stole my clothes! His flying pants have been stolen by the birds. And after retrieving his magical pants, we dress him up and he just flies away. I like this scene right here. Some more puzzles to get through. I really enjoyed this one. Maybe it inspired this Lights, Camera, Pants minigame. And finally, we face off against Yzma once more, defending ourselves against her potions until we're able to climb up to the top and reclaim the throne. But I'm still a llama, so it doesn't matter. We gotta get that potion. So we take the secret passageway to the catacombs. There's two styles you play here, starting with the roller coaster, which is some of the most fun you can have in this game. But you gotta be perfect so it does get stressful after falling off a hundred times in a row. Yeah. And I like to emphasize that the final coaster was so hard, it made me want to commit crime. Stop right there, criminal! Now back to platforming. Hey, you're not allowed to play here! There's enemy blocks inbound. Enemy blocks. This game got me killing children out here. Only a few though, not a thousand. Which awakens Big Mama. What have you done with my kids? A pretty cool mini boss to go up against actually had some fun. I'm up. And don't blink because now I'm turned into a bunny. I'm a bunny? With some pretty cool jump and fly mechanics. Kind of like Rayman's head propeller whenever he's going down. It's very enjoyable gameplay. I'd give it a nice two thumbs up. Well, how did I get here anyway? Judging by your size, you probably ate your way through a wall. <laughs> and finally, the lab. Everything's final here. The final time hopping around as both frog and even bunny. Goose <laughs> goes. The final race has a turtle. Uh, turtles aren't allowed down here. This time Kronk chases me with a big net. A nice throwback to our first race back at the village. He almost got me a few times, but I managed to escape unscathed. The final face-off against the llama bike kid. This time he's got a top-of-the-line ride. But even with all these upgrades, he's still no match for my natural llama speed. Why are you running? Look at this dude. I'd like to buy all your- I'll miss you, Cusco! And I'll miss him. And the final leg of the journey, we just play with a side-scrolling style of play, which is actually really fun. I wish there was more of this earlier on, but hey, I'm just happy I got to this point. And we reach one final Yzma fight. Emphasis on fight, because there's still something else. A little more side-by-side -side running, and you reach the actual final challenge. Prepare to die. And it's a race because instead of turning herself into a monster to kill me, she turned into a cat, like the movie. And she's no match for a llama like me. We beat Yzma to the potion, we drink it, and that's the end. Everyone comes together at the village to celebrate a great victory. I have to admit, I did grind out a lot of these levels, but still a lot of fun. The art design on Cusco is amazing. And that is it for this video. If you made it all the way through, thank you so much for sticking with it. Make sure to drop a like, a comment. I appreciate everything. This has been a video about the Emperor's New Groove, a licensed Disney video game. And it was intense. Really, really intense. Well, not really intense, but, but pretty, pretty intense. intense.